Hey guys, Doug here from Motion Raceworks. Today's Tech Tip Tuesday is gonna be short and sweet, but definitely an important one. As build season is hot in progress, I wanted to kind of remind you guys and show you some of the new updates we have. We've done a video about this before, and uh, what we're talking about today is turbo drain flanges uh, and what you should and shouldn't do. It's often overlooked, very important piece of content and uh, knowledge for you to have, especially if this is your first turbo build. For me, I didn't learn this till my third, fourth, fifth turbo build, and uh, now that I do, it all makes sense. So let's dive right in. If this is your first turbo build, your feed and your drain on your turbo are completely crucial to making sure that the turbo operates as needed and has the lifespan and durability that you're looking for to protect your investment. Each turbo needs a different size feed in return. Um, a lot of those are very standard. You can definitely call us if you have questions. But on the feed side, you'll typically see a number four, number six AN feed line. And on the drain, you'll typically see 10 or 12, depending on what frame turbo. Today, we have a T4 turbo from Precision sitting here. It's a 6766. This series turbo is gonna be the same as far as oiling goes from their 52 millimeter all the way up to their 76 small frame T4, T3 flange stuff. And when I say that, uh, I will always feed them with a T4 oil feed and a 10 AN drain. Now we recently released our new turbo oil drain and as you can see, it has an O-ring built into it instead of using a traditional gasket. That's not to say that the gasket's wrong, but we thought saw some shortcomings and uh, thought this would be a good addition to this product for us. And uh, at the same time, we optimized some other things about it. If you look on the bottom, this turbo has a square shape. A lot of turbos have a different shape because they use different center cartridge bearing cartridges. If you look at the aftermarket turbo oil drain flanges, a lot of times these gaskets are just a small hole in the center that mirrors this. While that's okay, it definitely um, obscures the flow or blocks the flow and uh, can cause some turbulence and issues inside of there. So if you look, the precision gasket is actually square, which is kind of cool because it matches the pattern here. The reason why I don't like gaskets is because A, sometimes they don't seal up quite as well as an O-ring, and B, if you take this apart, if you don't have another gasket, you're kind of up a creek, which leads us to our next point. A lot of folks end up using this. That's right, the Handyman Special, RTV Red. This thing works well for a lot of things on your engine. It works well for headers, it works well for oil pans, transmission pans, everything in between. Don't use it here. Uh, of course, you can appropriately apply it. The problem with red RTV or any RTV is that when it goes to compress and squish, it gets inside of here. And that not only blocks flow, but it will break apart and get into your oiling system and possibly clog up the actual hose itself. There's no need for that. And that's why we des designed and put this uh, high temp O-ring into this. This thing is actually cut into this so that it does not come out. We use a, uh, a what's called a dovetail cutter to make sure this is held in there. As you pull this thing apart a few times over its lifespan, it's not gonna pull out of its pocket and uh, stretch out to where you can't put it back in. And because it's a high temp O-ring, it's gonna be able to be reused several times and give you a little bit better sealing ability than a gasket will be. Just as important as your oil feed is for your turbo, your drain is as well. If it can't get the oil out, what happens is you have a backup and you have pressure coming from the feed side and your return side has no flow. So what the oil is gonna do is take the path of least resistance. It's going to typically puke out the front and rear seals of the turbo, the compressor and the turbine side. That'll happen a few different times. If your turbo is worn enough to where it actually has some clearance, it's gonna push out at all times, especially in extreme circumstances. Otherwise, what'll happen when you uh, basically shut the engine off, it's gonna push out. So every time you start the vehicle after that, it's gonna puff oil out the exhaust, it's gonna fill the intercooler with oil, and that's bad for everything. And that can lead to uh, premature failure of the turbo and all, also, of course, a bunch of other things between sensor failure, putting oil in the intake, which you don't want, oil on the wideband O2 in your downpipe and everything else in between. Plus, it looks like you're driving Uncle Buck's uh, station wagon around. So what you can do is use this O-ring style oil drain or make sure you have plenty of these gaskets on hand. Don't use 
RTV. Now this is a number 10 style flange for a small and mid-frame turbo. This works great with uh, T3, T4, the S400, Borg Warner style stuff, VS Racing on three, all that different uh, turbos, Garrett, and everything in between. When you get to the large frame GT55, the Precision Large Frame, Precision Pro Mods, Garrett Pro Mods, etc., cetera, uh, we have a number 12 style drain flange. That's gonna be used primarily on all of your large frame and uh, pro mod style turbos. They're two different part numbers. So if you have any questions, definitely give us a call. I'll put the phone number and our website in the link below. If you have questions, we'll be happy to answer them and let you know what you need for your particular combo. I'll also have a link for these drain flanges below. Of course, there's always things that come into play like uh, scavenge pumps and also the, your gravity feed on your turbo drains, but we'll talk about that in another video. Thanks for tuning in guys. We will catch you next time.